and they're off. Robin Hood just knuckled on jumping out for the Diamond Jubilee Coronation Cup, but is the early leader sent forward in the all-blue colours. Masked Marvel, proven stamina, ensures that that horse is also being kept close to just an even pace early on. Quest for Peace is in third place on the outside of Beaten Up as they climb uphill for the first three furlongs. St Nicholas Abbey is settled in fifth place and Red Caddo dropped right out at the rear of the field as Robin Hood leads them past the ten with an advantage of three lengths from Masked Marvel in second place. In third is Quest for Peace, beaten up, allowed to drift back through the field, having been a little keen, and Johnny Murta keen to get some cover himself, as they just about drop into Indian file formation with at the rear of the field passing the nine, St Nicholas Abbey and Red Caddo. Well, Robin Hood is going on with it, and leads by a good five to six lengths now, from in second place, Masked Marvel. A length and a half to Quest for Peace, then beaten up, St Nicholas Abbey and Red Caddo, who just edges a little closer to St Nicholas Nicholas Abbey as the leader reaches just about the highest point on the course. So it's Robin Hood who leads with an advantage of about five lengths, but so far he's largely been ignored by the rest of the field. Masked Marvel is in second place within third quest for peace, then beaten up in fourth just ahead of St. Nicholas Abbey and Red Caddo towards the rear of the field. So Robin Hood leads the turn downhill and enters the final half of the Ju Diamond Jubilee Coronation Cup with an advantage of about uh, four to five lengths over Masked Marvel in second. In third is Quest for Peace, in fourth beaten up. St Nicholas Abbey and Red Caddo are held up still at the rear of the field. So Robin Hood is kicking on about uh, six lengths clear. Masked Marvel is leading the chase at the moment as they turn in with half a mile to travel. In third is Quest for Peace, beaten up St Nicholas Abbey round the outside and Red Caddo charting a course closer to the fence. Robin Hood still leads, but Masked Marvel is now beginning to close. The white sleeve jacket of Quest for Peace, St Nicholas Abbey is improving, travelling very strongly in the purple colours and looms up, beaten up looking awkward on the camber and Red Caddo's gone past him. Masked Marvel, the ledger winner, pursued by last year's Coronation Cup winner, St Nicholas Abbey and St Nicholas Abbey surges to the front. In second is Masked Marvel, back in third, Quest for Peace. Red Caddo is the one who's running on strongest of the remainder and maybe the one to chase St Nicholas Abbey who has a big lead, however, entering the final furlong. St Nicholas Abbey driven out from Red Caddo and up towards the line. Another win in the race for Aiden O'Brien and his son Joseph makes it back-to-back -back wins for St Nicholas Abbey in the Diamond Jubilee Coronation Cup. In second was Red Caddo, Mars Marble was third, then Quest for Peace, uh, beaten up and eventually Robin Hood dropped out to be last. Just over an hour before the Jubilee Derby, the team responsible for Camelot strike in the Investec Coronation Cup. St Nicholas Abbey backs up his win in the race last year in the colours of Derek Smith, trained by Aidan O'Brien and ridden by his son Joseph. And this son of Monsieur, who of course held all before him as a juvenile, is now 